States. I'm Crystal Her here with your evening news. We're here covering a news breaking story about a number of riots and crimes that may be connected to the world infamous gangster Brian Van Hyden, known as on the street as the V Doll. I will pass this on to reporter Sadie Torek, who is on the scene in South Stockton. Sadie? Yes, hello, this is Sadie Torek. I am here in the middle of what seems to be a group of people <laughs> holding signs. <laughs> religious and political freedom, religious, political. Save the babies, y'all. Save the babies. As you can see here, things have gone a little out of control here. Officer, may I speak to you? Sure. What do you think about all this? Things have gone out of control. Yeah, it's crazy. Our number, our undercover cops think it's related to Brian Van Heide, also known as Streets and Free Dog. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Yeah, as you don't, if you don't know, the V-Dog is our number one political enemy, and he's one of the gangsters taking over Stockton. We don't know where he is. We don't have a lead right now. That is, that is a horrible thing. Wait, what is, hey, 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 stop right there. What are you doing? What, fool? What's that? A gun. What do you think it is? You can't have a gun. Yes, I can. The amendment 2 says I have the right to bear arms. No, come on, give me the gun. But get you, man. Come on. Officer, we're going to need you at um, 4129B Street. This is Officer Rodriguez. What's the problem? Uh, we have some information on um, some uh, soldiers who might be affiliated with the V-Dog. We need you at the address immediately. All right, I'm on scene. I'm on scene. 10-4. Soldiers, you can't be living here. Well, according to Amendment 3, it is illegal to quarter troops without the consent of the owner. But the owner of this house is my mama, so there. Well, I still need to search your house. Do you have a warrant? Excuse me? Yeah, Amendment 4 says that if you don't have a warrant, you can't search or seize anything from my house. Well, hey, 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 I got the warrant right here, okay? Can you move aside, please? I need to check this right here. What are you looking for? Are these what drugs? Are what is this? It's illegal to have drugs. Look at these drugs. Arrest them. All right. Let's go. Man, get that camera out of my face! Okay, you got the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Keep your hands behind your back. You will not be tried two times for the same crime and you will not be deprived of your rights to life, liberty, property, etc. That's according to Amendment 5. And according to Amendment 6, you have the right to a speedy trial, published trial, and an impartial jury of state and district. Let's go. Don't be shoving me, man. According to Amendment 9, I have rights that no one can mess with. Uh, you don't even know those rights. They're not specific in the Constitution. But still, that could be my unalienable rights. That's only your rights of life, liberty, and property, etc. And you already given those. So move it! Hustle woman! Let's go! On the ground! So move yeah. As you can see, we just saw something amazing. Two soldiers getting arrested for having drugs in their home. Could they be connected with the ever V dog? Only time will tell. Woo! I got the power! Man, I got the power! Excuse me! Excuse me, may I have a minute? What? What power? People power! Amendment 10 says that people have the powers that are not delegated to the U.S. by the Constitution. But people don't remember that, man. We have hooligans that are trying to take over Stockton as if we don't have powers to be adhered to. What do you mean, sir? That 
man do? That gangster V dog. He's for take your jobs and our women, forcing us to hustle so he can't make money. He's a pimp, man, a dictator. And if you people let him, could excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. So are you telling me, us, America, that you might know where V dog is hidden at this moment? I heard that he's going up north on 99. He has a new motorcycle, so you better guys catch him, man. Did you hear that, America? We might be heading up 99. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. That we might be able to find the V dog. Isn't that amazing? Now I heading am heading up 99. I am here at live, Sadie Torek. At this moment, things are definitely getting heated over here. It's clear to see that there will be difficult conflict, if not on war. I am Sadie Torek, for I witness back to you, Crystal. People power, man. We're about to catch up with reporter Diane Simmons, who is on the scene in downtown Stockton. Diane, we hear that you may have new information on the whereabouts of the V-Dog. Sure. Yes, Crystal, I'm here with Officer Smuts of the Stocktown PD, who thinks that the forces are getting closer to catching the famous V-Dog. Officer, what do you think of all these outbreaks? Well, to be honest, we don't, really, we don't really know where to start because the outbreaks are just everywhere. The people are out of control. Apparently, they don't want the V-Dog to exert their or his force on the city and uh, we're just trying to we're doing the best we can okay. what what do you plan to do um by finding the infamous gangster well all we know is that he's from lodi and he wants to clean up the streets of stockton which i personally think he should lead to the authority but um the, the point is people don't support him they don't they think Stockton's just fine. Okay, officer. So what do you think about... Hey! 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 hey. Wait, 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 stop, stop. What, what, what's going on here? What do you do? What? These are my slaves. The train my stuff is not Stockton. The beat out won't get me there. Wait, no. You guys, you guys were born here, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, according to Amendment 13, slavery was abolished in 1865. You guys don't need to be doing this. What? Are you serious? Sorry, Diane, I gotta go. Can I pour? Yes, well, this is all getting fairly exciting. We'll inform you of any more news. Back to Crystal. Thank you, Diane. That concludes our evening 